everybody welcome back to my channel there is very little time left before the new year holiday the salads are being prepared and the houses are being decorated in every part of russia by those who haven't done it yet as the new year celebration is the most important holiday in russia so where did this tradition of celebrating the new year in russia came from what are some Russian traditions connected with its celebration? Let me tell you the most interesting things about it. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell, please. Well, the tradition of celebrating the new year in Russia was introduced by Tsar Peter the Great, Peter the I. Prior to this, the celebration of New Year in Russia was on September 1st and before that, even in March. However, the Tsar, wishing to keep up with the West, forbade celebration in fall, postponing it to the 1st of January and ordered the people to put fir trees in their houses. In those years, the celebration took place in the capital of Russia, Moscow, as the St. Petersburg had not been built yet, so the celebrations were on the Red Square. However, in 1704, the holiday was moved to the northern capital, St. Petersburg. The main thing at the New Year's holiday back then was not the feast but the mass celebrations. Peter not only took part in the festivities himself but also obliged the nobles to do so. Those who did not appear at the festivities under their excuses of illness were examined by the doctors. If the reason turned out to be unconvincing, the fine was imposed on the guilty person and he had to drink a big glass of vodka. After the holiday, the unforgiving Tsar invited the narrow circle of his people from 80 to 100 uh, people to the imperial palace. The doors of the dining room were traditionally locked with the key so that no one would leave the premises for three days. These three days they were drinking immensely and most of the guests by the third day crawled quietly under the benches, not disturbing the rest. Only the strongest withstood such a New Year's feast. Nowadays, for many Russians, this is a family holiday. That is why it is a tradition to see in the new year at home with your family and close friends. Only after listening to the Kremlin chimes, striking 12 and congratulating properly everyone live and by phone, the Russians go to the central square or to the party for entertainment. Under the rule of Catherine II, the new year was also celebrated on a grand scale. In the 18th century, the Russian New Year's table became more refined and tasty. The desire to surprise the guests with some unusual dishes came into the art of cooking. Historians tell about an outlandish dish that the court chef prepared as a surprise for the empress. A very intricate dish was not cheap and required outstanding skills from a chef. So the recipe was as follows. The pieces of anchovies were put into the fleshy olives and the olives were the stuffing for the gutted lark, which was put into fat partridge and then into a pheasant. And then this pheasant was put inside a piglet. At first, the secret of this dish was kept in a strict confidence, but then uh, some no rich nobleman found it out. This roast got the name Empress and gained great success among Petersburg nobility. In the Soviet period, when people experienced general shortage of food, tangerines were the most important elements of the New Year celebration. They were expensive and difficult to obtain. It was luxury, so people saved money to buy this fruit on the New Year's Eve. It is the only day of the year 
associated forever with the scent of the tangerines. So, tangerines are a must on the New Year's, on the Russian New Year's table, as well as famous Russian salad, olive year. The love for this salad is indescribable. The New Year's table is literally impossible without this salad. The Soviet housewives love the recipe because it consisted of products that were easy to find in any store at a reasonable price. By the way, if you're watching this from Latin America, let me know if people are really crazy about this salad and call it Russian salad. Also, the New Year's table in Russia is always decorated with traditional sandwiches with red caviar and champagne. In Soviet years, these were the products that could not be easily obtained and therefore they were symbols of luxury, comfort and a hope for a good life. Every Russian at least once has said that he, how tired he was of watching these New Year's concerts and uh, the films, Soviet films such as The Irony of Fate on the New Year's Eve. But every time with much fondness we watch these New Year's films and programs loved from the childhood. There is a number of beliefs associated with the celebrating of the New Year. The most famous saying states, you will live through the New Year the same way as you see it in. Thus, everyone does their best to celebrate the holiday with fun and in the company of family and friends. We also say that you need to leave debts in the old year. That is, repay your debts before the beginning of the coming year. On the New Year's Eve, you need to wear completely new clothes of happy colors of the next year. One of the most significant and breathtaking elements of the New Year is making a wish. People believe that the greatest wishes made on the New Year will certainly become true. There is a unique method which gives almost a 100% guarantee of fulfillment. While the bell is striking 12, you need to write the wish on the piece of paper, burn it at a candle, put the ashes into the glass of champagne and drink it while the chimes are tolling. Try it yourself and see if it works. My dear viewers, I want to wish you the very happy new year. Let it bring you joy and happiness. See you in the new year.